Could the Detroit Lions receiving core be better than we think? Did you realize that you were a champion in their eyes? Yes, I did. Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz. On this channel, we do predominantly Detroit Lions content. We also do some football live streams as well. So if you decide to subscribe, make sure you set the notification bell to personalize so you will only get the content you desire. The Detroit Lions are slated to be a bad team, possibly the worst team in the NFL. Now, I don't believe that to be true. I think that there are other teams that are bound to be worse than our Detroit Lions. But with that being said, a lot of people think that we have one of the worst, if not the worst, wide receiver core in the National Football League. Now, for me, my opinion is I think we have to be at least bottom five. We don't have a lot of big name players. We also don't have an explosive receiver that's going to take the top off of defense. I mean, just explode the top off of defense like a Calvin Johnson would. We even don't have a Kenny Galladay or Marvin Jones type of receiver. Can't really see one receiver on this defense that would require a double team. But does that mean that the Detroit Lions are going to have a horrific receiving core? Does that mean that they are going to have the worst receiving core in the National Football League? According to Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, they say, hold your horses. This receiving core is better than you may think. Now, as we know, Quintez Cephas is the only receiver to return from the roster the active roster that he is from last season. Tom Kennedy, who made the initial 53-man roster, spent some time on the practice squad last year, but he was never elevated to the active roster. Quintez Cephas is the lone receiver from last season, aside from TJ Hawkinson, that is. As of right now, the Detroit Lions have seven receivers on their roster with the addition of newcomers Trinity Benson and Kadero Hodge from the Cleveland Browns. Trinity came over from Denver in a trade. The Detroit Lions gave up a fifth and a seventh in next year's draft for Trinity Benson and a sixth round pick in 2023. They also picked up Kadero Hodge off the waiver wire when he was cut by the Cleveland Browns on Tuesday. Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell had a 33-minute press conference together. The first time they had been uh, at a press conference together and spoke together for several months. And when asked about the receiving core, they had nothing but positive things to say about all the guys. One of the guys in particular was Tom Kennedy. When Tom Kennedy was brought up, Dan Campbell went on to say what type of camp Tom Kennedy had. This information comes from Tim Twentyman, Lions reporter. When asked about Tom Kennedy, Dan Campbell had this to say. Well, Tom Kennedy has had one crazy camp. You got Tom Kennedy. Well, you can't keep him because now you're at five or six receivers. No, Tom Kennedy earned this. He had a great camp. He made plays. You guys saw the preseason games. So Tom Kennedy, along with the other receivers, were not given this spot. They had to earn it. I think the biggest question mark going into the 2021 season when it comes to the Detroit Lions receivers is we really don't have a true number one. Tyrell Williams has had 1,000-yard receiving year in 2016, but he's never really been a number one. And we really, really, really don't have a true clear-cut number one on this team. But that doesn't mean that the Detroit Lions will have a terrible receiving core. The Lions gave up two picks to get Trinity Benson. Trinity Benson could possibly be that explosion deep threat that we're looking for. Somebody that could take the top off of a defense. Be able to get behind coverage and blow the lid off this thing. But we really got to see Trinity Benson in a Detroit Lions uniform and see what he has to offer. Apparently, Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes thought he offered a lot, giving up two picks in this coming NFL draft. I have a question for Detroit Lions fans. Hearing the comments of Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, does your opinion change on our receiving core? It's a little concerning because we have essentially a hodgepodge of people just brought together to create a receiving core. None of these guys have any chemistry together. That's one thing about Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay that we will miss is the fact that they played for years together. We don't really have that. Quintez Cephas is the only one coming from the past. So these guys got a mesh, but they had camp. And what, according to Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, it looks like that they've kind of already hit that and they just have to hit their stride when the season get here. I feel like all hope is not lost because after all, these guys are in the National Football League. Tom Kennedy in particular really had to earn his spot. I know that I've watched this guy for two years now coming in with the Matt Patricia era, coming in from lacrosse, and this guy has worked tremendously hard to break into the active roster. I think that we should give the Detroit Lions receiving court a chance. These guys all came from somewhere. They all made the cut. So let's see what the Lions wide receiver core can do. Look for a lot of shorter passes, a lot of play action, and then maybe 
once we get that going, we can open up a big play down the field to a Trinity Benson or a Tyrell Williams. So leave it in the comments below. Your overall thoughts on the Detroit Lions receiving core. You guys are awesome. My name is Derek. This is the Gridiron Blitz. Subscribe if you're inclined to do so. Hit that notification bell, but set it to personalize so you won't get just a plethora of notifications for content that you might not watch because watching the content actually helps my channel grow. We are also within 20 subscribers of 17,000, and if you would just click that sub button below if you want to, I would greatly appreciate that. 17,000 is a monumental feat and I am just happy to be so close. So help a brother out and help me get there. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.